Hello and welcome back to the next mathematical symbol, which is the integral symbol denoted with this long s. So whenever you see an integral, it always uses this stylized s. And there, you might already know, originally it comes from the word sum or the Latin word summa. Indeed, if you want to see the integral as the area between the graph of the function and the x-axis, a sum helps us to calculate it. I would always say, if you start calculating integrals, you first start calculating the areas of rectangles. Or more precisely, you would approximate the actual area with the sum of simple areas. And usually, this approach is known as the Riemann integral. So we would write, we have a sum over areas of rectangles. Now, one rectangle has a height of f of x and a width of delta x. So you see, this is not complicated at all. We just read the value of the function and the distance on the x-axis. And then summing it up gives us the whole area. And then you should see, in order to make the approximation better, we make the rectangle smaller and smaller. So in some sense, we have a limit process where delta x goes to zero. And then the result of this limit process is the actual area, which we now don't denote with the sigma, but with this long s. And moreover, the delta x is then written as a dx. So this should explain why we have exactly this nice notation here for denoting an integral. Moreover, I can tell you, besides this Riemann integral here, there are also other approaches to define integrals. And indeed, they change the notation a little bit, but they don't change the long s for denoting the integral. Now, if you want to learn more about this, I have a lot of videos about the Riemann integral and about the modern version, the Lebesgue integral. Therefore, I would say let's meet there or in the next video about mathematical symbols. Have a nice day and bye.